Hello, this is H.G. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Dragon Quest VI! Since last time, made my way back to Wellshire here, so let's see about getting a reward for rescuing Cynthia? Whatever her name was. Cynthia! Okay, good, good. I, I knew that! I knew that! I was just j j joking. Oh, well, we uh, made it in time, thank goodness. Didn't even have to pay them off. You could if you wanted to, and you'd get a different reward for it. I think you either get your money back, or a prayer ring, or... I forget the exact circumstances for each reward, but I want this reward. Because I think it's the best one that you could get. Well, yep, kicked their ass and took names. Hey, hey, all right! So I'm going to save that for later, because, uh, well, all my current party members have fairly decent HP. Later party members, not so much. But we'll get to that when, uh, well, when we get there. Chips ahoy? No. Nah. Nah. But anyway, okay, so we're done here. Let's uh, head on back to Port Haven then, and actually advance the plot today. We've got a lot of plot to get through today, so try to pack as much into one episode as I can. Just seeing if uh, they might have said something different on the world map, but no, no. Oh, right, right. Okay, well then let's head on over there then. You know, I wonder, did... Has anything changed here since we did that boss fight? I'm not entirely sure... Okay, there's no one here. Yeah, I'm not entirely sure precisely when this plot line with uh, with the maid and all that uh, advances, but uh, well, I'll come back and check here periodically and see what's going on. But anyway, we're done here, so let's head on to Somnia. It's a fa fairy. I thought a fairy was like, uh, well, much smaller than a ship. But anyway, yeah, we got more than enough money. Although I did get more money than I actually needed at this point, because in the next couple towns, we're going to be buying some new stuff to upgrade with. If for some reason I am short on money, I will go back to the casino, uh, get a few more uh, silk tuxedos, and resell them. So that's pretty much how I'm going to handle the money making for this LP. I mean, there will be some grinding, but not to an extreme. Certainly not just for the money. I like how they have, uh, well, means of conveyance like this to get to different parts of the world without giving you full exploration right off the bat, so you feel like you have to, you know, earn it, actually, instead of just handing you an airship within the first five minutes of the game or whatever. Though I'd prefer trains, but I suppose that wouldn't work with a Dragon Quest game, right? <laughs> now you're just talking crazy, H.C. Bailey. Well, okay, let's, uh, how do we get to Somnia, anyway? Oh, you mean like Haggleton? Hmm. I wonder if there there is Haggleton around here. Oh, hey, how's it going? Oh, well, I suppose so. I don't need any curative stuff, but, uh, oh, they, they, we can actually save here. I forgot about that. Yeah, sure, why not? Yeah, a lot of times when you have these uh, priests or priestesses throughout the world, maybe in a dungeon or near a dungeon, a lot of times they won't let you save there because, well, that would be too convenient. Is anyone around here? Oh, there is. How did you get all the way down here? Bad to the bone? No. Now, slimes do not have bones. Nuts. Well, we'll keep following you around, I guess. Or maybe vice versa. Huh? What's up? Oh, yeah, I, I could use some directions. Oh. Well, okay, let's go then. Thanks for the help. 
You're not very good with directions, are you, Carver? <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll take care of it. Fortunately, Baileys are very good with directions, usually. Sounds like a plan. Let's head on over there. How hard could the enemies possibly be? Answer, not very. But, yeah, okay, so let's uh, try to stay out of the forest here. By the way, if you tried to go north from here, there is no... Well, you can't get to, like, a Hagleton or a Weaver's Peak because there's mountains in the way. For some reason. But anyway, new enemy, I think. Uh, Chew Slime. And these guys, yeah, nothing too special about them. How she slimes and regular slimes make baby slimes, uh... You know, I, I don't want to know. I do not want to know. But, uh, hmm, well, they don't have a guard right at the front door, at least. Well, okay. Be careful. But anyway, let's get some new stuff here. Uh, most notably, the chain whip. Uh, I want to get that for a future party member. If you don't have the money, well, it's not that important. We will eventually be coming back here. There's also the edged boomerang, an upgrade for Rex. But I'm not going to get that right now, because we're going to find one in the next dungeon we're going to go to. So, yeah, don't worry about it. Let's see. Armor. Well, we're not going to really need to buy that much armor for a while, because, well, we got all that stuff from the casino. So, oh well. But anyway, you got the thief's key. We can get back here. Hey, let's go. What's going on? What sickness? You're not gonna tell us, are you? That's... But anyway, here we get the poison moth knife. Just like the previous two games, you attack with it, and it can paralyze a monster. So I'm going to give that to Millie. Normally, I wouldn't have bought the thorn whip for her. I would have given her the poison moth knife. Oh, really? Well, sounds like you met a grisly end. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we're... How could you not? But yeah, usually with Millie, I don't use her much for physical attacks, or even when I do, I don't really care that much about it. So... Yeah, I mean, it doesn't really matter between Thorn Whip or the Poison Moth Knife. Usually I'm going to have her cast magic to do stuff. Well, it's pretty ambitious there, huh? Oh, you mean the right hand man to the king is evil? Perish the thought! Ah, uh, well, yeah, you, want, you gotta pay the guards or something. Somehow. Ah, well, maybe we should check it out. Hey, how's it going? What do you mean? Who are you talking about? Oh, really? Huh. What a coincidence. Uh, well, uh, no. Oh. Well, good for me. Oh, remember that for later, viewers. <laughs> yeah, Carver, now you're just talking crazy. <laughs> well, let's see if we can uh, get into the castle with our face here. Oh, nuts. Okay, I guess they don't recognize me that well. Then again, the soldiers, they were saying, at least in the other world, they rarely ever get to see the king or queen, so probably wouldn't get to see the prince that much either. Yeah, you're talking... Man, everyone's talking crazy here. Now, that well there, viewers, do not go in there. If you do, the monsters there will kill you. Yeah, we're not meant to go there for a very long time, and even if we, well, even if you could survive, they, or there's nothing you can do down there anyway. You're only allowed access to a certain part of the cave, which has nothing! Oh, that's hmm, kind of strange. In the other world, the, uh, 
King didn't even need any sleep. Hmm. Wonder if there's a connection. Well, let's keep asking around. Find more treasure. Loot the whole place as usual, just like all good JRPGs. Yeah, you're just rambling. Pay no attention to them, viewers. <laughs> I don't think you would have that good memory for anything. Yeah, it's just a coincidence, Millie. Oh, really? Was he, like, captain or something? Oh. Nice job. I mean, we did join the military, so maybe we can use our clap to get inside or something. Nuts. What's the worst that could possibly happen? Yeah, we better uh, get some more clues about all this. Let's see, I don't need to rest at the end. I already did that off screen. Beckett. Well, Shire there. Slipping slime? Well, you see the little slime machine or whatever that thing is in the back there? Yeah, there's a little mini game you could do with that, but it's totally not worth it. There's no tangible rewards or anything like that, so I never really bothered with it. Uh, well, people have been talking about him, but what, do you, what can you say? Oh, nuts. And Murdoch sure seems to be taking his time. Yeah, I wonder what happened to him. Hmm. Eh, probably not important. I wouldn't worry about that, viewers. Hey, how's it going? Oh, how's... What do you mean? How so? Oh, yeah, they might be. Well, you gotta get a lot of sleep. Hmm. Yeah, it seemed pretty young in the other world. What's going on? Okay, well, I think that's all, all the treasure we can get in the town area. Oh, sure, another part here. There is no Healy, only Uzo. Well, what is a cat gonna do to you? You're a slime, come on! Okay, well anyway, uh, there is one thing that I want to check out here. So, uh, yeah, I want to take, check, take a look at it off screen. Um, just to make sure I got everything here. So I'm just gonna save here real quick. And uh, I'm gonna take care of something off screen and uh, well, I'll be right back once I get done saving here. Uh, no, no, that's good enough for me. Okay, we're back. So anyway, well, in order to advance the plot, remember what the guy at the center of town was saying? Well, we need to get some fancier clothes. So you go to the armor shop and you want to buy the noble guard for Rex there. So let's do that. Yeah, it's kind of a waste of money. I suppose if you didn't do all that casino stuff, that might be something you'd want to buy for him anyway, because it's got fairly decent defense. But the uh, Platinum Mail is just flat out better. But yeah, now that we got the clothes, we can get into the castle. Hooray! Maybe we can get some more uh, treasure or something. Let's find out. Uh, yes, yes, it's me. Totally me. You can tell because I've got the blue hair and everything. Oh, right, right. Oops. I selected the wrong option there. Well, apparently so. Well, all right. We got a lot, a lot of food or money or something. Could use the help trying to get that mirror. 
Maybe they already found it here. Is that, uh, Captain Blade? Okay, how's it going? Oh, Rusty. Hmm, reminds me of another game. Well, you never know. All right, good for us. Well, let's take a look around here, see if anyone else has some good information. Oh, well, everyone here seems to know what's going on with them. Heck, some of the townspeople did. Well, all right. See if we can get some good munching from the kitchen there eventually. Ah, well, nice to meet you, I suppose. Probably haven't met m many, uh, er, guards, huh, Rex? Hmm. Oh, well, that's okay. We can take care of him. What, is he going to turn into a monster or something? I've played this JRPG before. Well, apparently not. Maybe uh, some black coffee? Or wake-up juice? Zombie juice? No. No. Uh, yeah, what happens if I say yes. Oh. <laughs> well, I'm not king, but, well, I'm the next best thing. Hey, that rhymed. Hey, how's it going? Uh, yes! Yes, it's totally me! Oh, well, yeah, I suppose. What do you mean? You seem to, uh, think it was me. <laughs> ah, Carver. Uh, maybe. Part of the Bailey curse. You want to hide something? Just hide it right in front of us. Oh, wow. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, that might do the trick, Carver. Hmm. Well, let's see if we can find anything in the books here. Oh, no. Not another one. Game. Oh, what grade? <sighs> oh, right, the stairs. I almost forgot about that. Let's see, is there anything in there besides the chests? Nope. Okay. Well, I thought maybe there was someone locked in there with this stuff or not. I don't know. I thought I remember there being a guard around that area. Hmm, I must be thinking of something else. Seriously, I, I forget. I don't know. Oh, well, I suppose. Not as uh, buff as Carver, but hey, we're working on it. How bad could they possibly be? Well, let's take a look around to the left first. Scour the castle for this, uh, Chancellor before he gets to me first. Ah, well, I'm all in one piece, it would seem. Nuts. I'm a JRPG protagonist. What did you expect? Yeah, yeah, that that's it. Hmm. Yeah, looks we got more than one problem to try and solve. Well, I, I would hope so. I'm gonna be in charge once we get rid of him. Maybe. It can't really get up to a lot of places right now, though. Got plenty of places to go, still.
Oh, well, yeah, I suppose so. Don't I outrank him, though? That's... Oh, well. Hmm? Who's there? Oh, hey, Rusty, how's it going? Sure, why not? Tastes like strawberries. At least the red slimes are she slimes. <laughs> sure, what's the worst that could possibly happen uh, impersonating the prince? Well, yeah, got over 300,000 tokens. I'd say that's uh, good fortune to me. Hecosaurus, really? Really, game? Won't be able to what? What? You're not gonna tell me, are you? Uh, I wouldn't worry about it anyway. Oh, yeah, just trying to get some information. <laughs> no, of course not. Ah, well, good for you, I suppose. Nice. Ah, oh. hmm. Yeah, at least they have some way to communicate to us. Yeah, I wonder what she wants with a mirror. I wonder if that's the same mirror. That uh, we were heard we heard about. Hmm. Maybe I don't know. Maybe that can cure them or something. Now, how does everyone think that I look like the prince when mom and dad have, I'm I'm guessing blonde hair and brown hair? How do you get blue out of that? What did I like dye my hair or something? Or is this like being a Super Saiyan, God, Blue, whatever thing? I don't know. I haven't touched that series. Oh, well, I'm happy to take over for you. Huh? What do you mean? Oh, well, yeah, they were selling it. It's got good defense. Oh. Well, how do you prove something like that, then? Okay, sure. Nuts. Well, that, that was a long time ago. Hmm. Well, I'll just tell you, viewers. No matter what answer you choose... You, you get the same reaction. Nuts. Well, wouldn't everyone else around here not know that? It was a long time ago. Nuts. Yeah, there's not a whole lot you can do about this. Oh, well. You're, you're not going to throw us in jail or anything? Just going to kick us out so that way we can advance the plot? Yeah, pretty much. And unfortunately, we can't get back into the castle. So if you didn't get the silk robe, well, you'll have to wait until later to get that. Oh, well. Where do we go now? Well, let's see. There's one more person we can talk to here. Oh, really? Hmm, maybe we should, uh, head on over there, then. How do we get there, anyway? Yeah, we could use some directions. We don't- our map isn't quite complete. Oh, okay. Hmm, I wonder. Can we learn some clues about the mirror key at the town of Amor? Find out next time on Let's Play Dragon Quest VI! This is H.C. Bailey, signing off.
Have a good day.